gut health is affecting everything. It, it, it affects all species, all animals. I, I would say gut health is just as important on that cow-calf operation as it is on the feedlot side. And I would say ultimately, packers can see a difference uh, on gut health uh, as we get to the end of that lifespan of that animal. I work with producers across the country, what from from you know Canada all the way down into Texas, and I hear the same thing as we've done the vaccination and mineral programs and all that, but these animals are still going through challenges. There's not a, a magic bullet. Um, it's low stress handling. It's uh, high quality feeds. It's vaccination program. It's mineral and vitamin program. You know, gut health is now become that next thing that we can add. We're learning more and more about it. We're learning more and more about the microbiome and the effects that it has on the immune system. That, that microbiome, that's where we, we get the energy and that's where we get the performance, the acetate and propionate um, that's affecting, you know, look at average daily gains in feedlot cattle or we look at milk production on the cow-calf side or from her conception rate. It, it's ultimately, we're working with the biology of the animal through that gut and, and it also works with the immune system. 70% of immunity starts in gut health. How does it do that? It's working with the innate immune system. And so as we look at the innate immune system, that is your first responders. So as a challenge, a virus, or something is attacking that animal, is challenging that animal, it's your first responders that come in and say, can we neutralize and take care of that virus, uh, for an example, before we need to call in the acquired immune system. Your acquired or your adaptive immune system is the vaccination programs. We build up those titers, but when we have to go to that acquired uh, immune system, that's when that animal, you see driving by a pen of cattle and the animal is standing in the back of the pen, his head's on the ground, he's not coming to the bunk eating, and now that animal is burning energy to try to fight off the challenge that the, they're facing. Gut health is affecting that innate immune system that we're trying to keep that animal from raising its hand, burning that extra energy. If we have a, a more resilient gut, um, we are affecting or priming that immune system so that it can handle challenges and we're not burning energy there. We, we should see better performance, have better conception rates, better body condition scores, better weaning weights. If we have a healthier animal, we should have a better performing animal. So many stresses every day that, that are hitting these animals. You know, I can't tell you when those challenges are coming to those animals. We look at insurance. We don't buy just insurance for our car right before we're going to have a car wreck. Or we don't buy insurance for our house uh, right before that hailstorm comes or before that tornado is going to hit it. You know, we're, we're looking at it as insurance to minimize our risk throughout the whole year. And, and, and so we don't try to go on these swings or these cycles to guess, okay, when are they gonna have a challenge or not have a challenge? What if we didn't have that gut health product in and a virus came through or a challenge came, came through that herd and um, you know, affected our conception rate or a, we get halfway through grazing season, we now have a drought. There's a lot of gut health products out there and um, some are different technologies, some are live products, some are fermentation products. We're working with lots of, of feed companies across the country who are now you know, asking questions and wanting to know more about gut health products that are going to help that innate immune system. And we can be very prescriptive because we know we've been in different situations on adding you know, supplementation of a gut health product to know you know, what, what is that right level? Reach out to your local feed supplier. Uh, if you're trying to figure out, you know, what can I add? How can I add value to these animals or set these animals up best? I think that's the best thing to do. They know your area. They have the ingredients to help make the most balanced ration or mineral program for you to make the most cost effective and, and be able to look at adding, you know, a gut health product uh, to that. Uh, to go through those challenges in the future.